after seeing his scholar make wudu, after he saw his scholar make wudu, after he saw his scholar make wudu, so up until the Prophet with a pure chain. Mm -hmm. So this will probably be the first time, inshallah, that a lot of us will get to do this, inshallah. So when we watch him make wudu, anyone can ask questions, the brothers and sisters, feel free, inshallah, to... He's going to make wudu outside uh, in the, uh, in the, in the, on the deck, inshallah. So just watch and uh, see, inshallah, because there's a lot of things like... Uh, when we went to uh, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf's house, who he studied with Sheikh Khatri and so forth, uh, like the brother said, he said the first when I saw Sheikh Hamza make wudu, he's been Muslim five years. He said it was as if it's the first time. Also Harun. Also Harun. And myself, and I'm born Muslim. It was as if it was the first time that we actually saw someone make wudu. We felt like we were doing wudu wrong though, our whole lives after seeing his type of wudu. Uh, because, uh, like Sheikh Hamza was saying, was that he was saying that this is the, the first stage uh, of salah, wudu. And you can't have salah without the wudu, so we have to perfect the wudu, inshallah. And this will be a good chance for us to see, you know, in action live, you know. Bismillah, 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 كل واحدة وحدة. بسم الله. After you wash the hands, you can put your hand in the uh, object, as you just how he, how he did. He poured it out in the beginning, but now he reached into the thing. And you use your uh, your pointer finger to wash your teeth. استيقاظ من دوب وإن بأصبعه. Now that you use the miswak, but if you don't, you use your finger like he's doing. Ah. He forgot to do his nose and he's going to come back to it at the end because it's a sunnah and you don't go back to a sunnah from a fart. So he forgot the nose, just imagine that he did do the inst instant shaq. He wiped every part of his, of his face basically. Eyebrows. It's from the uh, the beginning of the hair at the top of the forehead to the bottom of the chin, and all the way from ear to ear, including the part behind the beard, right here. He knows how he got into the eyes also. It's good to make dhikr if you want, you know, and during it. And notice how he does the hand. And a lot of people don't know that when you wash your arm, it includes the hand. Washing the hands in the beginning is not sufficient for this part. You have to go back and wash the hands again. And between the fingers and everything. That's fart. Fart. So either the water goes down and then he turns it over and brings it back down the other side. In between the fingers also. And it's including the elbow. Three times. Everything's three times. Of course, that's the best. I mean, if one time is sufficient, as long as the water covers the entire uh, body part. One is enough as long as it covers the entire body part, but three is, is uh, better. And by the way, he is not exaggerating his wudu right now. This is exactly what he does, is what he does all, time. all the time. He's not exaggerating. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it would have been done by now, like a few minutes ago. The wudu is a very serious matter. It's something, it's a true worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I guarantee you that whoever does it like this for the first time will actually feel like wudu is actually an act of worship. Not just some throwing some water and then going and praying. It's actually an ibadah. It's a worship. <laughs> And notice he's not using an extreme amount of water. And this is how they always make wudu in Mauritania. They always use a small kettle, a very small kettle, like a tea kettle. And they don't even use the whole tea kettle.
So he's wiping the hair now, all the way to the back, to the end of the hair, right? And then back up to the front. Apparently, yeah. A new taking new water for wiping the ears is mustahab. It's recommended to take new water for wiping the ears, but you don't have to. This is something that to grab water and pour it like, like lightly like that. See? That's, uh, Drop the water. See, the women do the hair the same way. Everything has your thoroughly in every direction. I believe that you take the uh, if it's a if it's a ponytail that you take it all the way out to the end. We can ask him, inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. And he checks the bottom of the foot. You notice he checks the bottom of the foot because the Prophet ﷺ said, "Woe to the ankles from the fire! Woe to the ankles from the fire!" Because he saw some dry spots in somebody's ankles. He said that to him. Woe to the ankles, or the, the not the ankles, the uh, heel. Woe to the heels from the fire. Woe to the heels from the fire. most of the people forget or cannot reach. And of course he includes the ankle bone. The two ankle bones, it goes up to that. And in between the toes also. you put it in with your right hand and you blow it out with your left hand. Put, and it's not, allowed, not, not loud. That's that's something that's not known. You put your hands underneath and you come back and then you take it all out like that. Anybody need to make wudu? <laughs>